Hey, Dan T here with Royalty, Acervia Go, and NetCinity, and anybody else that's using this Bluetooth beacon technology. Okay, there's some brain damage. This is brand new tech, and so, you know, it requires a learning curve, and that's what we're going through here. Um, I did a video earlier about... Hey, I received my gems. It's time to set them up. And I even showed you, you know, if you bought a URL or bought a domain name and how you can make subdomains and all that kind of cool stuff. Well, turns out the short version is the subdomains were too long. But here's the problem we ran into. Um, I went into, uh, and please forgive me, this, this video may be a little longer than normal. So, um, I sent a email to support saying, why aren't my gem, gems getting approved? Okay, let me back up a step. So you've seen this page where we set it all up together and, and it was waiting for approval. One came back approved, but the rest were all no, 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 no. And I'm like, why? What's up with this? And so I sent an email off to them saying, why? What's up with this? And he comes back with, listen to these words. Hi, Google requires us to comply with their URL guidelines, and we use this tool to verify whether it is a secure HTTPS. In the future, use this tool on your own. Um, so, okay, URL validator, I clicked on it, and it takes me to this page. All right, let me get rid of stuff here. Sorry, I, I need all my thoughts to remain calm. Okay, so... Um, Okay, then I went and I grabbed a URL and I'm like, why isn't it working? It's HTTPS. So I just copied it, went back, pasted it, checked physical web address of it. And eventually it comes back and it says, oh, snap, it just doesn't work. Well, crud. So I had to figure out what the fix to that was. I've spent a whole half a day here trying to figure this stuff out. So the first thing I did was I went to the physical web and I found out what the heck is the physical web and, and read through all these and watched the videos and all this kind of stuff. Turns out, if you click the configure button, you get a little bit more intel. I mean, this is all interesting and all that kind of stuff. We know that you, you need a Bluetooth connected to the Bluetooth. We know you need a URL. Um, we understand that it's just this Bluetooth low energy thing that it sends out and all that kind of stuff. But then I got down to here and all of a sudden the lights came on real quick. Did they ever come back? No, they never came back saying. Um, so it says, this is the link to your web page. The physical web on Chrome and blah, 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 blah. You need to make sure all this stuff is is done and good and here it is the eddie stone protocol and that's just the protocol that's used provides 17 bits for the url packet so you will likely need a url shortener to compress the bit size of your url dude how long have these guys been in business didn't they find that kind of important to share maybe i did not watch every video maybe it was shared once anyway okay 17 bits no problemo it would seem I have many more than 17 bits. So here I thought, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna shorten it. I went to Bitly, I typed it in to shorten it. Look, HTTP, not secure. Dang it, can't use Bitly. So I went to another one I know is good. And I type it in, I paste it, I shorten it, and they give me an HTTPS. And I think, sweet, all right, I got an HTTPS. Let's go test it. I go over here to test uh, URL validator. I go over here to test it, paste, and basically it says, nope, you suck. And so I'm like, charge. So then I go to this sh shortener, v.gd, and I paste, no, I don't paste that in there. That was the old one. What do I paste? Where is it? It's right here. So I copy this again. Control copy, go to v.gd, and I shorten it. Now, I happen to know that this one works, so I further go in and I customize it. And I'm going to call it whatever I want to 199 social marketing. Hopefully, that's less than 17 
tidbits. I click shorten, it goes in, it shortens it, I copy it. Now let's go test that one. Control paste, check physical web for, hey, success, sweet, the VDOT good shortened URL, and it works. So then, now we got a solution. Is it bit.ly? No. Is it is.gd? No. It's v.gd. Right on. So now we're going to go back in here. We're going to adjust. We're going to get rid of all that stuff and just paste in the v.gd. Uh, we're going to backspace, of course, the phone will ring. We're going to backspace to because they already have the HTTPS here, right? And then we're going to save it. Save. Now, the hopes are when I fix all of these, then they will come back approved. So, who knows? We'll see. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do, you can probably end the video right now, because now what I'm going to do is a quick recap. Ready, set, go. All right, guys. So when you get your gems and you go in and you've got these really long URLs that you're trying to link them to, but they're HTTPS, well, that's not going to work either because everything working off of the physical web, they only provide us 17 bits for our URL. So chances are you have to go to a URL shortener. I've tried a few. The one that I have found that does work is v.gd. So go to v.gd and type in your stuff and hit the shortening. That way, when you copy the new shortened link and just keep it short, because um, I don't think anyone's gonna see it. But that way, when you copy it, you can go in and you can test it, click the check physical web, and it'll give you a success. And then at that point, royalty might be more inclined to approve them instead of not approving them so together we will succeed we will figure all this stuff out that they are not sharing with us live long and prosper my friends god bless